guys, this is your friend Risha, and today we're going to be doing an under app lab project in code.org. I hope you guys will love this video, so let's get started. Before we're going to get started with this video, I'm going to show you guys how is our app going to look after we're done with it. So it says enter the length off inside of a square in numbers. We're going to try five and let's Yes, it's correct. Area is 25 and parameter is 20. So let's get started making our home. So I'm gonna go to code.org. I'm already signed in, but you guys can sign in, or if you don't have accounts, you can make your own. Scroll down and you can see here, start a new project. Click on App Lab, loading. This is gonna be your screen. Right here, you have some pages. You have code, design, and data. Data, we're going to use it later in the future, but for now, we're going to use design and code. Here, you have um, some buttons, rename, share, and remix. Please do not remix the um, rename because it's already remixed. And this is going to be your screen. Here's your toolbox and your workspace. So let's get started. First, based on the steps to make an app, the first step is define the purpose of your app and we already did it and we define the purpose of our app is find the area and perimeter perimeter often square okay step number two design the app step number three code the app and the last final happy exciting part run and see your app so let's get started and i'm done with step number one so we're going to go to step number two here I'm going to change my background color. Now we need a label to explain to our user. Always remember to um, always remember your label ID. Your ID. Alright. Enter the length of and side of a square and numbers not letters not shapes numbers and I'm gonna move in the middle a little bit Change my text color to white. My font to comic. Font size to 18. I always like mine in 18. I'm going to make my height a little bigger. And my text element to center. Okay. Now we need a text input because that's where they're going to enter their input so if you don't know what does input mean and you're new to this um input means basically giving something and getting it back output so maybe let's say multiplication you write two in the input and the output would be eight because two times four is eight and it's the four times um it's the four facts or you could say like you give a paper to somebody and they stamp it and give it like an output the input is going to be you giving and the output is going to be them giving so that's what input and output mean so i hope you understand it and now i'm gonna put my input box here text input box and placeholder is gonna be enter here placeholder means something in there but you can't like when you're tapping it you don't have it make it it's actually not working the text color so maybe i'm just gonna move it one size Okay. 
Now I need a button because when they click the button, it's gonna they're gonna get an answer. So the text is not gonna be button, it's gonna be Cali can make you late. Okay, that makes more sense. It makes really sense, so that's why I put calculate. Now I'm gonna take some labels. Before I do that, I want to move my calculate button. There we go. I'm gonna do this area. This color for this is gonna be white. Gonna be 18. My little is this perimeter. White again and next size is gonna be 18. Then it's gonna be a name perimeter. Perimeter. Now, wait. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have two blank boxes for my answer. And then and the answer is gonna be written in red because red makes a good color for answers. <laughs> Now I'm gonna make my width to 100 and my height to 30. 175 is my width. And I'm gonna do the same thing for my perimeter. Maybe what about 25? That makes more sense for a parameter because it's a big name, so it's gonna have less answer width. Now, the color I'm gonna change is to red too. So yeah, now it's time for the third step, cut. So let's get start coding. Okay, so we're gonna have some new blocks in coding. So let's get started. As you know, on even means when. When button one, um, when button one is clicked, I'm doing button one because when button one is clicked, it's gonna work. So that's where when button one is clicked, set test, set things, and set the text, for a specified element. So we're gonna do set text. Um, set text in label four. So there's label four. And now it's time for the map. So if you don't know the area formula, the area formula is known as length times length for the square. But if it's a rectangle, it's length times width. For a square, it's going to be length times um, length. And for parameter, it's going to be length times four. So yeah, I'm going to do area first, so length times length. I'm gonna go back to where controls we're gonna get text. Get text means get the text from specified element. So get text from input one. Because I don't know what my user is gonna do, like what is gonna enter. So that's why I'm gonna get this what he enters. Since um square has all equal sides, I'm gonna put two get text. Now time for the parameter. I'm gonna do the same thing, but set text. 
ID number label number five. And this time it's gonna be get text. Wait, this time it's gonna be we're gonna still use the multiplying um like the multiplying thing. Let's see. Multiply operator. But the thing is that the algorithm or the formula, um, it's going to be different. It's going to be get text from input nine, one times four. Okay, guys. Now it's going to be the happiest, excited, fun, happy part. Ah, I told you guys. So I'm going to run <laughs> and see your app. I'm super excited. Let's see if it works. So right here we tried fine. We got 25 and 20. Area 25 and parameter 20. We're going to do the same thing and let's see if it works. I'm going to do fine. And three. Yippee, guys. It works. I'm going to try on the number. I'm going to try 10. Yes, it works. I can't believe we did it. We named. We not named it. We made um, a new project in applabcode.r, which calculates the area and perimeter of a square. But we're not going to leave it like this. We're going to rename it. So we're going to rename it. To the, um, we're going to name it. Let's see. Square area and peri. Mm. Meter calculator. Okay. Good. I hope you guys loved this video and you succeed in your project. If it didn't, it's totally fine. Mistakes happen. Try again. I'm sure you will learn your mistakes. Remember to subscribe my channel and ring the bell button for more notifications. Bye. See you later.